And the last fish, guys. To the 99 cooking. There we go, there we go. That's another 99, my second non-combat 99. Looks good. And that got me to 2,099 total. Huh, that's cool, man. Anyways, one more to go for that as well. And yes, I have access to the uh, cooking guild. Get myself the cape. Uh, probably later. Uh, but that is very nice. So on the last episode, I finished the Karamja Hard Diary so that I can uh, go ahead and collect Quan Bonds really fast for the uh, Corporal Beast grind starting, I believe I said Saturday. And also, I worked quite a bit on Armadale and Raids. So on today's episode, I will be continuing the same gold grind, but we might be able to get Corporal Beast in this video as well. So I hope you guys are excited for that because uh, I sure as hell am, man. So for the Corporal B star, I want to gather, I say around 5,000 Quan Bonds. So that's gonna require about 50,000 trading sticks. So I gotta mine enough of these Topaz, Jade, and Opals and whatnot to get that. Mining the gem rocks with this method is so nice, especially underground. So if you do have a Charge Glory, you can mine these gem rocks twice as fast. It is confirmed. And I will highly recommend you have a Charge Glory if you're gonna do something like this. And also the mining rates are quite amazing. So if you are actively, you know, mining this, you can get over 50k an hour. And I'm only 81 mining, so I assume you probably can get higher. But I would say, you know, chill mining's like uh, mid 40k's. I would say so. Really good mining XP as well. I would be expecting, you know, to get a few mining levels off of this grind. Oh what? Even mining gem rocks can give you these uh, geodes. I'm also looking forward to getting some more clues then from uh, mining these gem rocks. Oh man, I mined a lot already. Jesus, that's a shit ton. Alright, I'm gonna sell all these first and uh, see how many training sticks I got. So I have hit my hop limit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just sell the remainder in the store. And wow, from all the gems I mined earlier, I got over 90,000 train sticks so I have like 5,000 in my bank so I have 100k train sticks a lot more than I was expecting so that should get me basically 10,000 raw quam bonds so yeah that's more than what I need so I totally forgot about customizing your controls especially with your right and left clicks uh, what I mean by that is you have the ability to basically hide attack options either from like monsters or from players and this is so useful you can do a bunch of more things but uh, mainly I just uh, made the attack NPC option hidden so that doing chins is a lot easier because sometimes you know the chins just get near your trap and you kind of need to click on your trap instead so having it hidden I can't you know fuck up so yeah it just makes hunting chins and stuff a lot easier 65 nice it's probably the highest I've ever hit with a uh, diamond bolts Oh my god, Elder Maul destroys this boss. I need to get me one of that as a drop. <laughs> Those eight legged octopus. <laughs> Yo, wow. Oh man, I wish you got that drop, bro. I really wish you got that drop. <laughs> Holy hell, man. That's my fourth extra spirit. What? They're still so expensive. Damn. Why are they still so expensive? I, I thought they would be dropping by now, dude. Okay, well, uh-huh. We'll definitely have to take that, dude. Holy shit. Well, we have just made some good money. Uh, yeah, I made some good money, too. For the bonds. Good bond money. Yes! Screw you! I did not land a single Dragon Warhammer spec, but uh, yeah, still managed to kill in like six uh, minutes or something. I guess that's a cool accomplishment. Nice. Oh my god! What? Another armadillo chest plate. Oh, it could have been a helmet if you think about it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I didn't know I hit 300 KC already. Nice. Well, that means I need about 200 more kills on average, you know, to uh, get all the drops. So let's see. Can we get it within the average, or do we have to uh, go beyond that? Let's see. So instead of the chef's hat in my bank for this clue, I'm just gonna buy a cooking cake. Yeah, I might as well get it on stream. Yes, please. Can I get a cooking skill cape? Sure. Got that. 
Nice cooking cape, so I should be able to enter this place, right? Without the chef's hat. I was just informed that if you spam click it, it will guarantee to work. What the heck, man? That's so cool. Look at this. So you can really never fail this if you do it right. That is broken as hell, man. Super broken. <laughs> and it also works for leap traps, I, I've heard too. Wow, that's fucking mind blown, bro. That's crazy. Oh, what? No, I got six hour logged. Oh my god, I'm so fucked. So it has certainly been a long while since I have really talked, you know, really anything about my bank and how my character in terms of items and stuff is doing. So I guess I will dedicate a good portion of today's episode uh, just to talk about, you know, the bank value and stuff. Ever since like raids came out and stuff, like, yeah, lots of uh, things have changed in terms of bank value. Just to name a few like Dragon Claws, the bank value just like shoots up crazy so I'm not gonna in depth go through everything I'll just like scroll through the bank and just show you the overall value so uh, here's the main tab you know got some cash uh, we updated on some rings you know like tyrannicals and whatnot uh, we also updated on some Xanai jewelry so we got all of that in the bank as well a lot of raids items uh, got introduced into my bank like dragon claws as mentioned earlier some ancestral pieces, you know, some armadill, and uh, yeah, more of those raids items. And yeah, the bank is just looking really nice. The loot tab definitely got beefed up a bit as well. Just got that deck scroll today. I actually have four. So I've already um, drop traded two. So overall, the uh, PVM tab, like miscellaneous PVM tab, hasn't changed too much except for a few of the raid stuff. And as we scroll down, it's just the alkables. I haven't really made much changes on that. I've got a ballista and a few of those. Some more rune javelins. And as for this tab, it's basically a potions herb tab. About the same. Nothing too much has changed since the last price check. So, and here we go to like the rune section. Yep, again, nothing really has changed too much on that department. Uh, we use quite a bit of skilling stuff like resource items, so like the uh, flax and whatnot, it's been converted into bowstrings, which is uh, technically worth more in GP value, so that probably uh, beefed up the bank a little bit. But otherwise, uh, a lot of the gems and stuff, they've come and gone. <laughs> a lot of them were from raids, and I've cut a lot of them and crafted a lot of them into like jewelry for the XPs. And these are just the miscellaneous stuff. This tab actually, you know, got changed quite a bit with like introduction of like more god swords and whatnot for like the master clue scrolls. So slight change. And uh, church of trail uh, items tab hasn't changed too much except for a few master clue items like the uh, god sword kid and stuff like the black demon mass, a few other mass. And these are the current active uh, items that I'm using for skilling. So that definitely has gone through quite a change because I was going through some major uh, skilling previously like crafting and whatnot and uh, also some smithing and cooking but otherwise pet section yeah nothing has changed I still have the same pets I haven't gotten any pets uh, in a super long time and the biggest thing that people obviously are interested to know is like how much the uh, bank it overall is worth so I'm using the conduit clients I trust conduits uh, price check it'll probably give me like the best uh, average that I got so better than what I can do you know by myself through a calculator or something so this is the estimated value I'll calculate again though and um, surprisingly I have two bill value yeah my most expensive item is the ancestral top and the second most expensive is my three tacits okay uh, that's weird. Oh, I mean, like, honestly, Dragon Claws and Deck Scrolls, though, they should technically be, like, the, the second most expensive. But, okay, we'll just uh, stick with that. And this client also has, like, a value for each of the tabs, so obviously the main tab definitely has to be the most expensive because all of my big boy, like, PVM items that I use all the time are in here, so it's, like, 1.2 bill, basically. And everything else... Uh, some are in the few hundred mils, hundred mils, and others are just kind of in the tens of mils. So, so last time I did like a bank value check on OS Buddy a long time ago it was like uh, one bill, 
But yeah, since then, we've basically doubled the bank. We really have, because if I didn't drop trade those two other deck scrolls, it would have been, I guess, 2.2 bill. So guys, I'm gonna do some uh, practice corp kills tonight just because I really just want to give it a shot right now. I've cooked up a lot of uh, Quambon, so we have everything we need to uh, go ahead and try to learn how to solo corp. So let's go ahead and try it. Alright, that's 5 specs with the Dragon Warhammer done. So I just teleport to my house to uh, recharge my HP and special attack. So onwards to the Art Light specs. Okay, so I have uh, finished sacrificing a shit ton of my food on the ground. So uh, hopefully we'll be good for the fight. So this is my second attempt at Corporal Beast. So the first attempt went fine, except that some smartass decided to, Hey look, this guy's probably an Iron Man, I'm gonna go and crash him. And so he did, he went in and damaged the boss, so that means I can't get the drop, so that kill was just a waste there was no point for me to try anymore so I abandoned that kill and obviously I reported that guy so you know uh, you deserved it though complete asshole so instead I'm just gonna fight the boss like somewhere on this side because it'll be harder for people to notice that I'm actually doing the boss and whatnot so yeah I think it will be a lot better if I just do it here and yeah the second attempt uh, so far so good we're almost done with the first real kill, I guess. Come on, 12 HP. Alright, there we go. Just got the uh, first corp kill. Wow, that was uh, pretty hard. I mean, I think uh, my biggest trouble was that I just didn't have a good layout. Come on. There we go. Second corp kill done. And uh, it was actually still relatively difficult. Just cause, yeah man, I uh, need to still perfect the layout of the food I guess. But yeah, not bad though, I mean, it's pretty simple. I guess I'll be able to master uh, Corporal Beast pretty fast. There we go, my uh, third Corporal Beast kill and uh, this time went a lot smoother, I gotta say. And kill number four, Watermelon Seeds. Uh, I can't even see it and I timed the whole thing so it takes around 40 minutes to spec the corp suicide and get the kill 40 minutes yo yeah very slow so <laughs> basically a little bit over four kills an hour man Jesus Christ that is uh, so few kills in an hour ridiculous but Yep, that is what the Corp Beast Grind is all about. Super, super slow kills, man. The Corporeal Beast Grind has officially started for me, guys. And uh, as excited as I am, I'm also quite nervous about this grind because it is such a uh, challenging grind. Because you can only get 4 kills an hour, and also the drop rates for the sigils are 1 in the thousands. So it is uh, very easy to go months plus dry without getting anything so yeah it is uh, quite risky in terms of uh, video content for you guys I'm not sure how that's gonna work out with the corp uh, included into the uh, series but I'll still try my best obviously to upload as frequently as I can but anyways if you would like to stay up to date with future episodes for this series feel free to subscribe to the channel so that will be it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video as usual and i hope to see you guys soon with another video bye bye